Honey, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well with Alice for you. What's up? What's going on? Somebody needs to see, please, for that torrent energy. What's up? What's going on? You got it. Blessings. Oh. Blessings. Mm. Oh, showing gratitude to what it is that we have, who it is that we have. What's going on, please? And for what we have, what we have managed to achieve, and what we will continue to achieve. Yes? What's going on, please? Show me. Show me. Okay. Prosperity. Lovely. 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 Headed into a place of prosperity. Yes? Oh, that's great. Oh, lovely. Whether it be love, work, life, we shall see. What's going on, please? Beauty. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Some of you are, I don't remember who pulled the beauty. I think I said something to the extent of you made a promise to go back to the gym and now it's time, something like that. But there's some of you, you have your personal goals and it has to do with your physical outer world and then also prosperity in the general sense. Things seem to be opening up and are flourishing. Um, either you or possibly your person, perhaps it's the both of you. Uh, but someone here is a great beauty, you know, and prosperous. It could be... You, just you, all you, baby. It could be the both. If there's two people here, I don't know, but let's keep going. What else, please? Beauty, prosperity. Oh, beauty lies ahead. Prosperity lies ahead. I love it. Ooh, somebody got some psychic abilities. Highly intuitive, as I always say. You actually very much are. You just don't get credit for it. One day, somebody will actually believe me. And some of you have an affinity to animals. Okay, what's going on? I like this. We're using our intuition to better guide us to prosperity and our kind of external world as well. So beauty is not just actual physical beauty. Although if you are beautiful, congratulations to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you know, I did just get my hair did. I know, honey, I can see it. Good job. You know, you just feel good. You just feel good. Or you're hoping to. You're using your intuition to guide you. How can I feel beautiful inside, outside, prosperous in the general sense? Sure, what's going on? But I have to insist, some of you have recently taken up a new uh, diet regimen or exercise regimen, something about your physical world. You know, it's not just appearance, it's your physical world. It could just be your health as well. That you determined that you would do better with, something like that. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? That you would do a better job of listening to your body. Some of you have recently made that uh, as a goal, that you would do a better job listening to yourself in the general sense, i.e. using your intuition. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Taurian energy. Show me what I need to see, please. For that Taurian energy. What's up? What's going on? What's up for Taurus? Mm. Recent past, Ace of Wands. Current, the moon. Okay. You, your current energy, temperance. You might be dealing with Sag. You might have some Sag in your chart. The person surrounding you. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, dear. Hmm. Not as impressive as your energy, I have to admit. But if that's where they are, then that's where they are. Uh, the person surrounding you, there's kind of like a stagnation around their energy. Nothing's growing right now. They may not be getting much feedback right now. They might be looking at memories right now. Something like that. Okay. Something has them clearly preoccupied. Um, I want to know. I want to know what's up with that moon. <laughs> and why is it in front of the Ace of Wands? Okay. Okay. I mean, I get the general idea of it, but I don't really, given your complexity, you can't just take that for granted. All right. I can't wait to see what's going on with you. What's going on here? Somebody need to see, please, for that Taurian energy. What's up? What's going on? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Three of Swords. Mm. Four of Pentacles. Oh, we are not happy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Three of Pentacles. Be advice as the Emperor. Be Big Daddy. Take charge of this shit. Overall, it's the Six of Pentacles. Keeping everything fair and balanced. Okay, cool. <sighs> okay. We are trying to withhold something or withhold or abstain from something that will cause us heartbreak in the future. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's up with that. Um, the Emperor is... You know, if you have Aries, first of all, in your chart, use it. You could be dealing with Aries. We also have Sag, Pisces. Okay. I see the instinct in you to abstain from something that you feel would potentially hurt you, which is very you. That's very much your instinct. Um, what that is, I do not know. I know that you 
are feeling it to some extent, but the energy is so low level. It is so low level. It's barely dinging the radar, man. Up here, your top one's a lot more powerful. But in the future, I don't know. I don't know. That's why we got to clarify, honey. You know, you're one of those creatures that you run deep when no one expects you to, and then you run shallow when everybody thinks you're going to go deep. Yeah, I said you never really know what you're going to get with Taurus. Everybody thinks they do, but you don't. Not really. So I want to know what's on your mind. Um, because in the future, like, I ain't worried about that shit. <laughs> and from my eyes as a tarot reader, then why do you got to be emperor? Mm-hmm. It's very you. It's not a problem at all. Mm-hmm. Then why'd you pull emperor for your advice? You see? I know, baby. I know you try to hide. You sure you want to hang out? <laughs> Let's see what's up. What's going on? Yeah, the deck's not right. I'm using this one. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. For Taurus, what's going on? And what's going on? Like always, take what resonates. If it does not, if it's not your story, don't force it to fit. Why would you? Reverse energies as it applies. I do the real shit. We have laughs here, absolutely, but um, real terror reflects real life. It was meant to. I don't know what it is I'm going to see, but just please know. No matter how difficult it is, I'm always on your side. All right? What's going on, please? And if it's lovely and lighthearted, great. That's awesome. What's going on? What's going on, please? Show me the Ace of Wands in the recent past. Show me the Ace of Wands, please, in the recent past. What's up? What's going on? Jerry, you might have some cancer in your chart. You could be dealing with a cancer. How so? Moving forward to an Ace of Wands. Moving forward to an Ace of Wands. Moving forward to an Ace of Wands. Your emotional energy with some speed, too. Ah, you had doubts. Oh, you had doubts. Possibly secrets. I don't know. How so? Mm. It pleased you very much. Very much. Were you seeing somebody kind of quiet? Not that they were quiet, that's not what I mean. Were you seeing somebody on the quiet? Perhaps you just had many doubts and that's why you kept quiet about the connection. It starts out strong, Ace of Wands, as these things often do. But it's very much in your nature to be reserved about something or a connection until you better understand where it's going. It seemed to be a very pleasure-based connection. That Nine of Cups over the Ace of Wands, you move towards it, but um, with hesitancy, more so on the mental side, Seven of Swords, you know? Doubts, or again, that kind of secretive nature. This is giving me a lot of pleasure, but I also don't know if it's going to go anywhere, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut about it, which is very you. Um, what else, please? You know, again, that moon energy. I know that you were seeing somebody possibly in secret, but it's more like, again, that kind of reservation quality you have until you know more about the thing or the person. You move towards it. You moved in it. Okay, show me that moon, please. Show me the moon, please, for the current. Show me the moon, please, for the current energy. For Taurus, please. Show me that moon energy. I just know that it pleased you very, very much. I mean, really. Is there any dispute about why? Not that I'm saying you got that. What I am saying is that you got a thump out of it. And it felt good. Show me that moon, please. Show me that moon, please. Okay. Page of Pentacles in reverse, then you shut it down. What is this? Somebody shut it down. What is this? Why? Page of Pentacles just went in the reverse over the moon. Why? It's you. You refuse to think about it. Oh my. That's your card, honey. It's you. Let me know if you're done with Pisces, Cancer, a fellow Taurus. We also have Sag, Aries. We shut it down. Okay. Okay. Um, somebody here is obviously in a connection, and the idea is that we didn't want to create third party. That's it. Okay. So how far this went, or how far back it goes, I do not know. You do, and that's, again, if it resonates. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Check out the placements, or I'll catch you in the next one. But again, at this point, I'd like to remind you, real terror reflects real life. Okay, you shut it down. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, that's you authorizing that. It goes into the moon place. So, your memories, which is Page of Pentacles, and then the moon, which is your big emotional energy, kept that shit down. 
Okay, if we keep it down. Uh, it went into a deep secret place. The reasons as to why I do not know. It, uh, but there on the split, it's kind of self-explanatory. The Three of Swords to the Lovers, it felt too much like a third party thing, or it actually was a third party thing. Somebody here is obviously in a commitment. Okay, there you go. As good as it felt, as pleasurable as it felt, it's looking like you took it into the moon energy. Somebody did, all right? Your current individual energy is temperance. You're either trying to heal and learn from the situation or just reconcile your waters or work through your Sagittarius energy. Okay, what's going on for temperance, please, for Taurus? What's currently going on, please, for Taurus in that temperance energy? Four cups. How so? Seven of Cups in reverse. <sighs> okay, one more before I say. One more, please. One more, please. Um, okay, some of you are literally moving forward into a new dream. Could literally be an Aquarius, but a new vision. The stars. Okay, a new vision, a new plan, a new hope, and so forth. Literally moving forward into that. And you are trying to reconcile yourself to the situation, the circumstances for which you find yourself, not just with this person, but in life in general. Um, you're not thrilled about it, Four of Cups. You're not thrilled. Um, in fact, you're kind of down. You are kind of down. And what seems to be provoking that sort of downness or sadness is understanding that there are no more options in love. Okay. Um, you are reconciling yourself to that. It's more like a pep talk. Taurus, you don't have any options in love, and you know that. Okay. I'm not saying that you're not lovable. Of course not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm speaking to a Taurus who's clearly in a commitment. Okay. What you're telling yourself is that I am not an option. I should not be treated like an option, and I should not treat other people like options, right? Besides, I'm moving forward into a new dream anyway. Now, the only reason I'm defaulting to you is simply because your power card is here. It could just as be another Taurus who you understand that they're in a commitment and perhaps you're the one that's available. Okay, but we still knew, all right, where this went. Regardless of who I'm speaking to, again, reverse energies as it applies always, always, always. So... You are doing some deep healing work, my friend, merging your energies, your emotional energies. I know you don't feel good about it. The love option is no more. You are no longer an option. Somebody's no longer an option. You're having to move forward into a new vision anyway. Literally move forward, six of swords, into a new vision and pathway. All right. Um, so who is who in this scenario? I don't know. I just see that in your opening, it was a very powerful connection that... Uh, Yes, you move towards it emotionally. It was from a pleasurable place, physically, as well as an emotional space. Okay? You pulled back from it mentally, Seven of Swords. So there wasn't full engagement here. All right? Um, but yeah, you had to take it to a deep place. A very deep place. I will not think about it. I will not feel about it. I will never allow myself to be in this situation again. And we are reconciling ourselves to these difficult truths. It looks internally to me. The person surrounding you is the Seven of Pentacles. Who this is, I do not know. Uh, it depends on who is in the connection. Okay. Uh, but yeah, show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. No, I do not assume. Third party, nor should you, when you see the threes. I did see, however, a very powerful underlying that was three of swords, three of cups, with the Ten of Pentacles. That was pretty... That was pretty straightforward. Three of Swords to the Lovers, again, really straightforward. Um, the commitment cards over the secret energy, the pleasurable energies, it's, it kind of speaks for itself. So no, I don't assume, nor should you. Uh, Tarot's a lot more subtle than that. But uh, yeah, this is pretty straightforward. Okay, there was... Yeah. At the very least, you know, there was emotional pleasure, if nothing else. Seven of Pentacles, please, is the one surrounding. I don't know who this is. Let's take a look. Show me the Seven of Pentacles, please. Okay. And that's them, the Ace of Wands. The one we opened up with. That's who their energy is I'm speaking to. Seven of Pentacles. Stagnation or looking back on the memories. What about it? Ah. Five of Pentacles. There's the disconnect. 
they are disconnected from their passion, how so? Mm. Four of Swords, silence, they refuse to speak. Seven of Pentacles again. Yeah. Yeah. There they are. And there you are looking at them. The Emperor to the Queen of Wands to the Eight of Wands to the Seven of Pentacles. Yes. Very passionate person. They've also gone silent. The disconnect, they cut the passion for you. They cut it. Uh, in other words, they're literally, Five of Pentacles is physical, so they're literally not feeling it for you anymore. They cut it. They went silent on it, bare minimum, okay? Um, yet it still remains. They're just not saying. They're not saying. They no longer want to speak that particular truth. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, they killed it. There's death. Nine of Swords. It was too hard to speak that particular truth, so they stopped speaking. Okay. So, um, don't be surprised then if they completely withdraw their energy from you, especially if they understand that you're moving on or the connection's over. Uh, it seems like they're not doing much right now with that Seven of Pentacles energy, at least in respect when it comes to you. They tell themselves to disconnect literally from the physical attraction that they have with you. Okay, uh, cut it out. Just, just stop. Just cut it out. Um, they have essentially gone silent, four swords, or they're in their head with the details quite a bit. Uh, but for the most part, they remain silent. But yes, the energy, the attraction element energy, the sexual energy remains. But they say nothing of it. They do not speak of it. Okay? So yeah, this is the one that's being, it looks like, left behind. And uh, they're tired of fighting, waiting, and fighting for that particular truth to be recognized and or acknowledged. So they're killing it. Okay. So let me show you what that looks like. Death to the Nine of Swords, to the Five of Wands, the Ace of Swords, to the Three of Wands. They're waiting for that. They're done. They're tired of waiting for that particular truth to be recognized and or acknowledged. So they're killing it. Um, basically withdrawing their physical energy from you. Okay? That's what I can see for now. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Okay, which one? Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, show me. Let's see it right there on the split again. Hmm. So what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Taurus. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Taurus. What's up? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Taurus. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see. Okay. All right. Show me this three swords, please, in the future. Show me this three swords, please, in the future for Taurus. What's okay? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. How so? How so? Uh, okay. Yeah. There they are again. Ace of Wands is the underlying three times now with this person. In the future, um, well, honey, you know, um, your energy is still restless, irritated. There's some, yes, there's irritation here. Okay. Um, there's some irritation here. We're looking back on the memories quite a bit. I don't think you mean to. Um, but if you two are well and truly separated, it feels like you're more safe to examine the memories now in the future, but it causes you pain to do so. Over here, those kind of memories and feelings, you put that shit on lockdown, either relatively recently or mm, fair. If, it's up to you. Recent past is recent past and current is current. Um, but in the future, you seem to be more capable of looking at the memories and the feelings and the idea of options in love and how that caused pain. To yourself in the situation, you seem to be much more 
capable of examining these from a safer place. Okay. Um, and it causes you pain. It causes you pain to look at these memories, and it causes you pain to uh, feel those things. I will say it's nicer to see your energy allowing itself to explore it more simply instead of just being like, you know what? No. Just put that shit away. I'm not happy about it, but I gotta pull myself up on my bootstraps and reconcile myself to these difficult things. In the future, you are examining this much more strongly, and you are still coming up dissatisfied, at least for now. Okay, um, and that's, again, they're underlying. Let me know if you're dealing with Libra. I just saw Libra right now. I already named off the, yeah. I already named off the majors. Okay, so I'm going to four of pentacles. Um, I do believe, up oh, four of pentacles on the split. I mean, again, their energy to, to not put too kind of point of it towards is going to be on your mind for a while. There it is again. Show me this four of pentacles, please. There you are. Queen of pentacles, that's you. Sex irrelevant tarot. I don't care who I'm looking at. Um, we're still holding on. We're still holding on to this person's energy. Again, I don't think you mean to. It's more like a knight of pentacles. Why? Why? How so? You just pull the knight of swords and the knight of pentacles. Why? Ace of Swords. Well, you know, I see you following that particular truth, for sure. <sighs> Hold on. Show me those three pentacles, please. You got it. Temperance. How so? Discussion. This connection, what it meant to you, will mean more to you in time. You're not at that advantage where you can see it yet. Okay, I just see you roughly kind of more or less doing your Taurus thing and saying, get over it, Taurus. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Okay, move on. Move on. Move on. Um, that's just where you need to be. All right, but in the future, that's not going to play out like that. It's not going to continue to. There will be a deeper exploration on your part about what happened and why and how this connection actually affected you in the long term and in the short term. Um, because you are continuing to hold on, it's not an accusation. It's not, okay? It's not an accusation of holding on to anyone's energy that happens all the time, all day, every day, okay? It was obviously a strong connection. Um, you are pursuing a truth. There's something here about two nights, though. There you are. You don't know how this connection has changed you yet. You don't know how this connection has changed you yet. You can't, you literally can't see it. There you, there you are, the Empress. That's you. Eight of Swords, um, blinded to the situation. We can't get out of our heads. We think about it a lot, but we're no wiser for where. We have no more conclusive answers, okay? And then the Wheel of Fortune. You cannot literally see, you can literally not see how this affected you yet, the change. Um, this person's energy and what it meant to you, it will be through discussion. Uh, whether it's with this person, I do not know. But you have very strong temperance energies here, very strong Sagittarian energies. So if that's the case, you're going to want to use it. But in the future, when you find your mind lingering and uh, things like that, it's done from, so from a safe space. Yes, it causes you pain, but it's something you need to work through. Okay, you ha there are some truths in you you've got to discover, particularly what this energy means to you. Um, I'm not going to go into that. If it comes up again, I'll address it. Okay? I don't want to go into that right now. I don't think it helps you. I don't think it helps you, that's why. But if you really want to know, I'll put it in the comments. But for right now, unless it comes up again, I don't think it's going to help you. What's going on, please? It, it looks like uh, this one. Your advice as the emperor is the sun. 
you need to choose what makes you happy. It is literally your advice is the Two of Swords. You have to make an active decision as to what makes you happy. As I said, you don't quite understand or fully understand the extent of this connection and what it meant to you and why and how it's going to play into your life in the future. This is more of an internal process as opposed to an external process. Um, you seem to be experiencing this. There is some sort of activity here with two nights, okay? I don't know what that's about more than you just taking an active role. Okay, and better understanding your pathway in life, what it means to you, what's going on there. Um, but you can't see it yet, but you will in time. Your advice is to be the emperor and actively choose what it is that will make you happy. Okay, your overall is the Six of Pentacles, which is not a surprise for you. Uh, but it's with some strong will and design. You know, I have to say it all the time. I think I say this fairly often with Capricorn and sometimes Gemini. That yes, it is a choice you have to actively choose to be happy. A lot of people think they know what makes them happy. And I just... I see you strongly examining that concept in future. That's all. Show me that Six of Pentacles, please. Strongly examining what makes you happy in the future. Nine of Pentacles, yes. How so? Mm -hmm. Okay. I know your priority at this time is to increase your household and the strength of it. We're going from a 6 to a 9 to a 10. That's very high ascension value. In other words, the finance thing is covered. Okay, that stuff is covered. That's that's a non-issue. All right, this is where we are right now. Let's. That's, that's wonderful. So whatever it is that you're moving towards, you're literally looking at it with the stars. You are actually aiming your energy towards it. And you're kind of leaving the emotional back burner stuff. You know what? Just get over it. Just deal with it. Now's not the time. Just just pull yourself up by your bootstraps, Taurus, like I've been saying. You know, it's that you're not exactly pleased with the situation. You're not exactly pleased with some of the options. You're not exactly pleased with all the outcomes in the emotional cups. But it's something else you have to do because right now your energy is heavily preoccupied with, uh, well, frankly, that coin. <laughs> I mean, is this a surprise to anybody? <laughs> so you're literally working on your ascension value. Okay, in 6, 9, 10. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, and that's wonderful. It's glorious. Continue on in that. That's not in dispute. Like I said, that's not in dispute. Um, it's just in future. Yes, that would explain straight away that prosperity. Excellent. 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 And some of you, yeah, there is this idea of uh, beauty. This could be the person that surrounds you. Perhaps they see you as being he heavily beautiful. Or you see them or perceive them as being extremely beautiful. Um intuition using your intuition as best you can to navigate this thing we call life um, and I see that being more of a relaxed quality for you in future heavily examining the energy why does it cause you pain why do you still think about them why do you continue to hold on to that energy what it means to you how do I choose to be happy you know because over here you're doing a fantastic job fantastic job that's not in dispute none whatsoever look at you that's gorgeous okay um, you're just killing it on that coin or the prosperity or the comfort of the resources you name it okay uh, some of you might go into business for yourselves that is a very strong heavy stamp energy of going into business for the self okay very strong signature there but that's for some of you not all of you but you have to I, but money's not everything as I often have to point out and like I often tell Gemini and whoever um, you have to understand what happiness is before you can actually choose it. And I see a Taurus who is really looking at, in future, what is happiness? You know? It's at your time, it's at your reflection, it's at your leisure. It's not pressing. But you are more critically examining it in the future than you do up here on your top line. What is happiness? And then once I understand what that is, do I choose it? And it's done with some strength, strength too, particularly if you have Aries and or Leo in your chart. Very strong fire signs are right here, Aries and Leo. I strongly suggest you use it. Okay. All right. Okay. Any timelines here that we need to be made aware of for Taurus, please? Any timelines here for Taurus? Yeah, I know you're busy. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Right there on the split. I know you're busy, baby. And that's why you don't really have the luxury of examining these critical thoughts right now. Uh, I get that, but you will be in future when things have calmed down and you're in your stride and you're in your element. You get to open up in that space, and that's gorgeous. Okay. 
why am I, you know, why am I still experiencing this or feeling this and so forth. Okay. Alright. There's that moon energy again. Some of you are strongly connected to Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart. Uh, for some of you, the time of Pisces might be critical. That is... Oh, good night. That runs from late February to late March. Yes, yes. Okay. The 18th of any given month might be important to some of you for some reason. Um, the 18th? 8. Eight. The 8th or the 18th, possibly, might be critical for some of you. Details, working through the details, and for some of you, simply a calendar month. Yes, but when your time, when you get to that point where the busyness subsides, okay, and you can rest, you can work through that moon energy a little bit better and become self-claiming or a little more self-claiming about your truth. What's going on, please? Any other time frames? That's you. So during your birth season, you share this card with Libra, respectively, and also could be the formal marker of March, spring in general, or when you're at your your highest level of productivity. Lots of time markers with the Empress. Okay. Okay, what else, please? September. Next September might be critical for some of you. Okay, for the 9th, like I said. The busyness. And for some of you, 2022 or two years. Yeah. For some of you, two years might be a critical time. Okay. September 2023 for some of you. That's so very specific, but there you are. I report it as I see it. Okay. had to be done is what must be done. All right. Taurus. Yeah. I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.